ladies and gentlemen, the teen that you see in the white shirt hugging his mom was wrongly accused and arrested and got stuck behind bars for two years over something he never did. You know, they love doing this up in this society. They love to, you know, arrest us without a cause. But when it comes down to one of them getting arrested, they act just like Harvey Weinstein, scared out of your mind. So, ladies and gentlemen, falsely accused and acquitted black teen held against his will in jail on ridiculous bond release after over two years. Wow. This is a Texas teen, Tyrone Hollis, also known as JT, was kept in a jail cell and away from his family for two and a half years after being wrongfully charged with capital murder. Wow. Hollis attorney Justin A. Moore shared some of the details of the teen's case in a press release, revealing that not only was he wrongfully accused and spent years in jail against his will, but he was also held on an incredulous $750,000 cash bond. And then they want to know why we speak against mass incarceration. It's one thing if you're putting the right people in jail. This society has showed over and over and over and over and over that you put any damn body in jail. You don't even care if you got the right person or not. And you'll let these people sit and marinate in jail for decades. Now, he's lucky in a sense that it wasn't decades, but you got a track record of keeping people in there for decades. Moore explained that Hollis was 17 years old at the time when he was falsely accused by a suspect. The attorney said the Mesquite Police Department bullied Hollis into confessing, although he only stated he was merely present. Moore said that the Dallas DA, there, there go your problem right there, Dallas, had evidence to prove that Hollis, who is also called JT for short, did not commit a crime. However, he was still charged with capital murder out of career ambition. You know, a lot of these prosecutors and judges that put people in jail that don't belong there, they need to go to jail. They should be held accountable for doing this to a massive amount of people. They should be jailed. They're more of a criminal than the people they're putting behind bars. Mm -mm -mm. And not to mention the killer of the victim is still free. So for this capital murder case, the real person that did this has been free all this time. More continued, two lives and two families here have been affected deeply. A lot of folks involved need to lose their jobs for a lot of different reasons involved with this case. You know what? They need to lose their jobs for many cases. Whenever you grab the wrong suspect and you bully them into making a confession and the prosecutor moves forward and your judge moves forward, all of these people, including the cop that made the false arrest, and on many cases, they know they got the wrong person and they force a confession anyway, all of them should be jailed. All of them. 
You know, it, nobody should be allowed to put people in jail and remain free yourself. Let them endure prison. And then maybe they'll do a more thorough job in who they put behind bars. As of Saturday afternoon, Hollis was still being held in Dallas County Jail on a $75,000 cash bond after being found not guilty for capital murder when it was determined by a jury that he was falsely accused. He has sat in jail for approximately two and a half years awaiting trial on a bond that was nearly a million dollars. Wow. Mm -mm. Moore called for pressure to be applied on Sheriff Marion Brown, who presides over Lou Strarett Justice Center in Dallas County, and to demand that Hollis be released. JT is given a nearly million dollar bond. JT's parents hired me. Uh, we get a not guilty verdict for a capital murder. The first time that's happened in Dallas County. And he's still being held in jail because no one uh, wanted to stick around after business hours to process his release. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I would stay out of Dallas. What a nasty place. And we already know this from the Amber Geiger case, how nasty those cops and, and everybody, prosecutors, everybody are down there. I asked a bailiff as I was walking out, where did everybody go? She said, JT went back to his cell. And his family left. <laughs> I questioned her on why JT could not be released with his family after being acquitted, found not guilty of capital murder. She said the clerk's office was out for the weekend. How insensitive. How insensitive. So you cared about going home more than releasing an innocent person. These people are so heartless. I mean, this whole system is heartless. The whole thing. He was acquitted of any and all crimes he was accused of. What is he have to, what, okay, so what does he have to be sitting in prison over a weekend when he was found innocent? And his bond is a $750,000 cash bond. His family can't afford that. <laughs> so the bailiff said he had just uh, waited in jail. He, he just needs to wait a few days in jail. Why? Why? He's been in there for two and a half years. He's waited long enough. Why? Oh, these people are evil. They are evil. They are evil. So, ladies and gentlemen, JT was finally released Saturday evening. And his family did not have to spend a dime to get him out. So that, that was a beautiful thing. But this whole process for this teen was sad. It was so sad. But this is how the system is ran here in America. They will continue to make us the face of the bad guy. They will continue to put our people in jail innocent by the thousands and continue to not care. And then when election time come, all they want to do is talk to you about prison reform. Prison reform. And it's still not enough. They have never done enough to correct the wrongs of this system. You know why? 
because the face of the people going in there is not theirs. They don't have to worry about nothing or even care. These people can commit crimes, but because of the complexion of them, they can get away with all kinds of felonies and everything else. Meantime, our people are sitting in there by the thousands and did not commit a crime. See, this is why I don't back the system because we have seen stories like JT multiple times. Multiple times the system is evil. It's corrupt and it should go. It's a very poor system. It's been poor from the beginning and it's poor now. Y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.